Hey guys, this is Vivan from Star Speaker Arts and welcome back to my channel. I know once again I have committed the sin of being very lazy with editing this video. I guess for like maybe three reasons. One was I got really lazy, the video clips are so long. My fault because I took a lot of breaks just scrolling on my phone in the middle of drawing so it was all in there. And two, I, I got a new job. I don't know if I mentioned this before. Um, it's going well so far. Uh, the thing is, you know, when I get the job, I don't have as much time to be able to dedicate to editing and even drawing itself. So it's mostly after work or during the weekends now. And recently, I've been playing Final Fantasy XIV, uh, trying to catch up to where the story is currently before the new expansion drops. So I was doing that for the most part. So I guess it's the third reason that I'm just playing games. And to, to be fair, the, the fourth reason I guess would be this piece actually did take me a little bit longer than usual. Because uh, there's two characters and I even did this entire background with it, which was fast to do, it's just there were two characters, so uh, that made it a little bit slower. And you do see the reprisal of the 3D model. Uh, I was again reminded, rudely, by my own ideas that drawing hands holding things are hard so I, i'm fairly confident drawing hands doing more or less nothing just posing or hooked onto something but holding a phone apparently that's, that's a completely different beast i underestimated it even until now it, it the way he holds his phone is kind of janky but i could hide it so that's totally fine One thing I do like about this piece though is I drew the nose decently well, especially for the main the male character. I, I guess before I continue, these are the two chiefs from a mobile gacha game called Path to Nowhere. The premise is pretty interesting. Um, you're pretty much like a jail warden <laughs> chief to some extent. Uh, you manage sinners with special powers, so yes, it's about characters with special powers. The art style's pretty good. <laughs> not pretty good, it's really good. It's not your typical uh, Japanese waifu. I mean, it still is waifu, but you know, the, the art style is a little different. It, it leans more towards like the Chinese, a bit more towards the Korean style, if you know what I mean, I guess. These are the male and female chiefs from Path to Nowhere, the protagonist, or the main characters essentially, protagonists, I guess, since you are playing as them. Um, yeah, so I wanted to draw them in different outfits originally. I actually wanted to draw them in the different gacha game protagonist outfits, so I wanted to draw them in the Fate Can Order master outfit, so Guda Guda Ko outfits, uh, in the Arknights outfit, which is just a guy. Or girl in a in a full hood PPE hood but you know that'd be interesting or maybe what other gacha games are there that has good outfits pretty sure there's a lot I just can't bring it to mind right now but it's late and I'm kind of tired anyway so yeah uh, I wanted to do that initially draw them in different gacha game outfits but the fact that this one took me so long to draw pretty much indicate that's a bad idea for me. It's gonna take me forever if I finish at all. <laughs> Which is also highly likely not to be finished at all because I get tired of stuff and once I get tired of it, I probably won't go back to it anymore. So again, like my past videos, I still try not to talk to the entire thing so feel free to just have this in the background while maybe you're drawing yourself or maybe you're doing your chores or doing homework or whatever, just want somebody to occasionally blab here in the background. Uh, I don't really have much to say in the techniques. I might just chime in every now and then to, to talk about what I'm doing here or doing there. And yeah, it'll be music in the other parts when I'm not talking.
I guess one thing I do kind of want to talk about is pretty much about maybe art style. So I've been trying to, I guess, either find or solidify my art style this past last year, like 2023, 2024. Uh, I've always had a particular face, same face in drum. If you look at my past drawings, it might look a little similar to how I draw now, just a little bit better in terms of proportion. But, um, but in terms of coloring, I, I really haven't found, or I, I didn't have a particular coloring style, so I just tended to follow the anime style of cell shading and a little bit of, you know, painterly techniques but not really good at it kind of thing. I, I really used to dislike coloring, so ask me from fine, like maybe 10 years ago, I'd say that line art was my favorite face. So there's the sketching, which is okay, it's fine. And then line art is my favorite, I really enjoyed doing the lines. And then coloring was like just painful for me. It was so tedious, it was so tiring kind of thing. It was kind of stressful a little bit to some extent, I guess. Uh, and then backgrounds, I didn't even try. It was no way too hard. Um, so for the longest time, I was stuck in that kind of mentality. And then when I really tried to really start, what? When I really tried to start putting effort into improving myself, that's when I kind of really started to enjoy coloring so that was when I bought the book that I've mentioned several times before Color in Light by Phoebe Total uh, I started to understand more the concepts of what happens in colors and lighting as the book suggests and when I learned those techniques I really started to enjoy coloring the coloring phase more so just trying to follow that book and see how I can I can improve my coloring so it really just started with, oh, I really like how artists do that semi-translucent banks effect where you can you can kind of see the skin and uh, the skin colors influencing the hair. So it looks pretty cool. So I started with that and then I realized, hey, you could do that with literally every other thin material. So jackets, sleeves, shirts, you name it. So I might have gone a little overboard with that. And I started leaning more towards this painterly style a little bit late last year. I think around like September, October. I, I started leaning more into this more softer style where everything's very ethereal and blended. And I really do like how those look, but I kind of wanted a bit more structure, a little bit more solid that I used to do. So what I'm trying to do now is kind of blend those two styles together where it still has this somewhat slightly airbrush look to it but have more defined shadows more defined shapes and i can do more interesting lighting with it if i do that because if i do the paint really or the really soft blended style i'm sure really good artists could do it or more experienced artists could do it but i am not <laughs> i'm just this kind of I'm not, i won't say i'm a beginner artist i'm definitely not but like mid medium tier artist <laughs> <laughs> who knows stuff, but not quite there yet, kind of thing. So, yeah, I've, I've been trying to blend those two stuff together of some somewhat soft with a little bit more structure to it. And I think I'm on the path, on the right path. I'm kind of liking how these are turning out. I might need a little bit more of that airbrush effect a little bit more. Or maybe I'm overdoing it, I don't know. I'll keep on experimenting and that's how you improve, I, su I suppose. I just kind of wish I tried this earlier. My best friend actually tried to help me do that before. Like, oh, she'd send me all these tutorials and challenge me to do this, do that. But at the time, I just wasn't in the headspace for it. And when you're not in the headspace for it, you can't really force it. You just tend to end up being annoyed or resentful or just not ready you just feel forced to do it and you, when you do do it because you don't really feel like doing it or you really feel like you don't understand you just kind of mess up and then that frustrates you even more so while i really did appreciate now that he was trying to push me and get better i you know sometimes you're just not there yet and at that time i wasn't there yet it's now that i'm there like maybe 10 years later which Hindsight 2020, but what can you do?
There are just times when you just need to wait. There are just times when you feel like, yeah, I don't think I wanna do that yet. And or maybe you're just mentally not there yet. You just don't wanna focus on that and that's totally fine. Someday, if it's really something that you wanna focus on or improve upon, it will come to you. And that's pretty much what's happening to me now. Uh, a lot of things that she mentioned to me back then, and I do remember it quite clearly, the things that she mentioned to me, start to finally make sense now. Back then, I couldn't make heads or tails of it. I couldn't understand what she was trying to tell me. Um, and maybe I didn't want to really understand what she was trying to tell me. <laughs> um, maybe I could have researched more, honestly, but I didn't want to. So that's that. And now things are starting to make more sense. Like, oh, do this, do that, achieve that effect. Like, huh, I finally understand what you mean. Cool. I'll try. And that's, it's, that's just life, I guess. So, but it's art or your work or just your own improvement for yourself. It's just, I, I guess, the attitude I'm taking more nowadays is if I feel like doing it and it's something that's, you know, not reckless, not stupid. I mean, at this age, I really shouldn't do reckless and stupid stuff anymore. Not that I ever did. I've always been too uptight for that. Um, just do it, I guess. So lately, I've been working out again because, hey, I finally feel like doing it again. And if I put it off or if I continue to ignore it in favor of something else, then I'll lose it and who knows when I'll be able to do it again. So the motivational quotes are right. It's just, just start, just do it. Just. If you feel like it, do it. So I guess the, the the main thing usually people are like, oh, just do it, just start. But maybe you just don't have the motivation for it or maybe the headspace for it. So I guess the better explanation for that is just when it comes to you, when the idea comes to you, do it. Don't delay, don't wait, don't hesitate. Just do it. Now, you know, I'm, I'm neurotypical, so that's not going to apply. To everybody, obviously, I'm an extrovert, so maybe that also affected to some extent. I'm not, you know, I can't account for everybody's personality types, their own work, their own mental wiring. So to me, that's what worked, and it might help somebody. Maybe that that sentence might help somebody. Does it help me? It's been helping me keep, you know, trying to get better. I'm not even talking about mental health, I'm just really talking about physical health and improving my art and stuff like that. <laughs> anyway, what was I talking about again? I kind of lost myself there. Alright, so one, another thing I'm really bringing back is line art. So lately I've been trying a more lineless look, um, just using the line art as a, a, a better pencil sketch or completely just painting over it and trying to define the form with just the paint and the shadows, which is a good technique, a good practice idea, but I still like the more rigid structure that line art gives. So I'm doing that thing where artists do put line art but i'm trying to blend it in more with with the painting so instead of being a more like a multiply la layer or a just a darker color of that general area i'm really trying to blend line art with the actual shadow so if that area has a darker shadow or a darker agent then the line art will pretty much follow that so it's still looks lineless but there actually is it gives me an extra little bit of 
um, sharpness to it that I probably could achieve if I painted better or was more detail oriented, but I'm not, so we'll do this instead. It works, I think. And since I put, put it at the end now, I really don't need to worry about the line art or having to redraw the line art when I move something around. So if I move the hand around, nothing's really gonna hurt me too much because the hand is still just paint and there's no line art to worry about or having to connect it and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm liking my current process. I just need to refine the, some parts a bit more, like how I do certain things. Uh, how transparent I want clothes to look, or opaque I want clothes to look. And yeah, that's pretty much the end of this drawing. I did the background, and here's a little bit more, adding more shadows, and nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed. I babbled quite a bit. I kind of lost track of what I was really talking about at some point, so I hope you don't mind. And if you enjoyed that video, please feel free to leave a like. Uh, feel free to comment as well if you felt similar in, in any way among any of the stuff I mentioned in the middle there. So I'll see you again whenever the heck I end up painting again. <laughs>